Consideration of 2582 is in order. Senator Christopher Bongo is recognized to continue sponsoring the measure and uh, to interpolate uh, continuing interpolation of the minority leader, Senator Frank Dillon. Senator Dillon, you are recognized to uh, continue the interpolation. Uh, Mr. President, as the records of this chamber will show, uh, usually this chamber will not uh, 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 look into much detail on bills uh, concerning uh, increase, increase in bed capacity and matters related to local hospitals. However, uh, the, there is a recent case which prompts us to uh, uh, spread into the record uh, certain policy issues that we have to decide uh, uh, because of the precedent that it will set. Uh, and I'm particularly referring to the case of uh, Governor Mandanas versus Secretary Ochoa. Um, for the record, uh, can, can uh, the good sponsors spread into the record what is the Mandanas ruling uh, for purposes of establishing the basis of our debates? Minute suspension, Mr. President. Session suspended. Um, on the Mandana's case, uh, which updated the base uh, computation for the LGU share from the national internal revenue taxes to national taxes. However, it, uh, it is still unsure whether the local governments uh, will uh, prioritize health or if they will shift spending to less uh, co costly uh, LGU priorities. And the DOF estimates that the era of the LGUs uh, will increase by uh, 233 billion or about uh, 27.61 more in uh, 2020 that could address the mismatch between the era and the cost of uh, the world functions. Following the Supreme Court ruling on the Mandana's case, as far as I can remember, uh, it was uh, in uh, 2019, it was agreed by the uh, uh, executive that uh, after three years upon the uh, finality of the decision, it will be implemented by uh, uh, 2022. Okay. So, uh, I'm sorry, did I hear the amount said to be 200? 33 because yes billion because yesterday i recall a different amount of yes. 260 what is the final figure uh, mr president it was uh, updated uh, only by dbm today uh, we we checked okay. with the, the dbm okay mr. so how much is the how much is the Two, final figure to 234 billion mr president 234 billion now and uh, the uh, the increase in the era is a result of, as you said, Mr. President, of expanding the base of the computation. Is that correct? Correct, correct uh, Mr. President. Yes. And how was it expanded? Minutes special. It was uh, the Supreme. Ready to resume, Mr. President. Yes, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. The Supreme Court uh, ruled that uh, the just share of LGUs from the national taxes is not limited to national internal revenue taxes collected by the Bureau of uh, Internal Revenue, but includes collections. Customs duties by the uh, Bureau of Customs. Before the Mandana's ruling, 40% uh, uh, era national. After the Mandana's ruling, 40% and uh, 60, 60%. Uh, so uh, I, I'm sorry, sir, I did not catch the answer. Uh, the answer is uh, the Supreme Court expanded the base of the uh, uh, computation of the era 
to include customs duties. Is that the answer, sir? Correct, uh, Mr. President. Now, can Congress, in exercise of its plenary powers, change the computation? No, of course not. Because this, yeah. this, computation, this com computation is found in the local government's code. Uh, oh, one minute uh, suspension, Mr. President. Such is better. That's how to go. Uh, regarding uh, your uh, question, if we can uh, amend uh, uh, the 6040. Uh, uh, 60. Distribution, which is uh, embodied <laughs> in the uh, local government code. Uh, Congress has the uh, plenary uh, uh, powers. Anyway, Mr. President, uh, we took our time to re-evaluate our uh, whether to push through with the sponsorship of the two re-nationalization uh, uh, bills. Uh, Mr. President, if uh, we cannot uh, agree uh, on the issue of uh, re-nationalization uh, re of the two hospitals, we can uh, just consider these uh, measures when we are certain of the direction of the executive uh, department on how they will implement uh, Mandana's uh, ruling. <coughs> Since up to now, we haven't yet uh, received uh, the, the, the budget. I think it will be submitted by uh, the, the uh, time of uh, SONA, by the reopening of uh, uh, our session on July. Uh, the House bills for renationalization of Benguet General Hospital and Lanao del Norte Provincial Hospital were approved in the House of Representatives last year, uh, June 3 and August 25, respectively. This is before uh, the DOF and DBM announced in February 2021 20, that an executive order is being drafted, still being drafted for the full uh, devolution of some government uh, functions. And uh, just for the record, I believe the issue of devolution is a matter that uh, we should look into, as I have mentioned, 30 years since the passage of the local government code of 1991. The local government still experience uh, issues and challenges on uh, health uh, devolution. This is evident with uh, what we are experiencing in this uh, pandemic. The national government also failed to invest in uh, necessary health services. Clearly, something is wrong with the current system. This is a policy issue that we have to study and uh, discuss uh, uh, extensively. Ako naman po, gusto ko lang pong uh, makatulong um, ano po yung mga kabuti sa ating mga kababayan. Kung hindi po kaya pondohan po ng LGU hospital, mas mabuting tulungan na lang po ng national uh, government. For example po, itong... Uh, sa Benguet General Hospital, uh, it is currently run by the local government uh, units, but uh, na, it caters not only to the people of Benguet, but also to nearby provinces such as Ifugao, Mountain Province, and uh, Ilocos Sur. While the Lanao del Norte Provincial Hospital not only caters to the people of Lanao del Norte, but also to Sambuanga del Sur, Lanao del Sur, and Misamis Occidental. And uh, based on experience, Mr. President, alimbawa po sa Davao City, itong Southern Philippines Medical Center po, uh, it's run by DOH right now. And marami pong, just like itong Benguet, no, run by uh, LGU. Napaka unfair naman po na uh, pera po ng, uh, ng Benguet eh, gagamitin po sa hindi residente ng mga taga Benguet. Eh, budget po yun ng mga taga Benguet. Pero hindi naman po maiwasan. Bawal pong tanggihan yung pasyente ng mga taga Ipugao at saka taga uh, nearby provinces. Katulad po sa Davao City, marami lumalapit sa City Hall ng Davao City. Minsan po, they change address para lang po maging residente po ng Davao dahil hihingi po ng tulong doon. Pero sabi ng COA, bawal gamitin po yung pera ng uh, Davao City sa hindi residente ng Davao. Which is 
legally true. Pero paano pa naman po tatanggihan yung mga pasyente na nagmamakawa yung mga mahihirap nating kababayan pag pumunta na po doon sa, sa hospital. Kaya nga po, wala tayong pili dito. Ito naman po sa, sa Benguet. Kaya siguro gusto na nilang i-turn over po sa DOH through renationalization. Eh para po ang DOH na po mag, uh, magpatakbo. Dahil po marami pong hindi nga po taga Benguet, taga Mountain Province, uh, taga Ifugao, taga Ilocos Sur po punta sa kanila. So yun po ang purpose nun. But uh, the problem right now is uh, wala pa pong uh, definite uh, uh, budget na sinasubmit po ang ating uh, executive by, by July pa po yan. So para sa akin, uh, uh, just to leave this matter behind, we can wait for the executive order to be issued so that we would be properly guided if we can indeed renationalize these hospitals since they are providing basic services with the inter-jurisdictional benefit. We can also await the actual figures, how much would be the increase in ERA in these uh, provinces. I, I don't have the, uh, the data right now about that. Uh, since wala pa nga po itong executive order, ano po yung magiging basihan nila kung ano bang i-devolve na mga na services at uh, pondo. In the meantime, let us uh, discuss the remaining uh, 13 bills which I hope yeah, yeah. Uh, we could uh, pass swiftly since they are simply upgrading the bed capacity and service uh, uh, capability of hospitals or establishing new hospitals where a health, health facility is badly needed. These bills were already endorsed by their local government units and were already vetted and supported by uh, the DOH. Uh, kung ang atin naman pong layunin ay tulungan po ang ating mga kababayan na ako, galing lang po ako doon mismo sa isang hospital ngayon, talagang kulang po. Yun nga ang target natin, hindi umabot sa 100% uh, capacity at ayaw nating bumagsak ang ating uh, healthcare system. Tutulungan na lang po natin kung kahit na sampung Hospital beds lang po yan, Dag, malaking tulong na rin po yan dahil nandito po tayo sa pandemia, Mr. President. Ako po mismo, pupunta po talaga ako sa mga hospital, nakahilera dyan. Minsan isang kama, dalawang pasyente po magkakatabi. Paano gagaling yung mga pasyente natin kung ganun po ang kanilang kinakatayuan? Nakakaawa po talaga, Mr. President, ang yes. ating mga kababayan. Wala po natin ipagkait sa kanila. So, among the, the 15 bills that your committee is uh, supposed to sponsor today, uh, what are the two bills that uh, have an issue on re, re, uh, national Just the Lanao Benguet uh, General Hospital, Mr. President, and also the Lanao del Norte, Mr. President. We can, we can just leave this matter behind until uh, we can uh, have the ex actual figures, how, how much would be the increase and in ERA in these provinces. Uh, hindi, wala naman po sa atin, nasa, nasa DBM pa po yan ngayon and they are still drafting the executive order. I have spoken with uh, uh, Secretary Dominguez and Secretary Avisado last night after uh, uh, the uh, suspension of our session. So now, uh, Mr. President, number 10. oh yeah, the minority leader is recognized. Mr. President, uh, do I understand uh, from the manifestation of the good sponsor that we will able the deliberation in so far as uh, Lanao del Norte Provincial Hospital and being get General Hospital? Yes, uh, uh, yes, Mr. President. Yes. Uh, just to uh, 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 hoping that uh, the three uh, remaining bills, uh, 13, 13 uh, remaining uh, bills uh, uh, could pass uh, swiftly. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Yes. Now, Mr. President, my question before the break was, can we amend the Vandana's ruling and just limit the era to uh, uh, internal revenue taxes by under collected by the BIR? No, uh, Mr. President. Why not, Mr. President? For, uh, can we spread into the record why not? We cannot, why we cannot? The Mandana's ruling only uh, clarified from what uh, sources the era of uh, LGUs uh, can be taken. Uh, these sources are all uh, 
the national uh, internal revenue taxes, including the tariff and uh, customs uh, duties. Uh, the yeah. I'll be more specific, Mr. President. Can Congress enact a law saying that customs duties are excluded from the computation of the era? No, uh, Mr. President. Uh, and uh, may we know uh, why we cannot do that, sir? Under the Constitution, it says for the tax base. Under the uh, Constitution, Mr. President, uh, it says uh, uh, all uh, taxes, uh, Mr. President. Which was uh, clarified uh, by the Mandamas ruling, Mr. President. Yeah, all right. Uh, Senator Tomitino is recognized. With the permission of the minority leader and uh, the sponsor, Senator Go, if I may be allowed to uh, interject and uh, perhaps simplify the procedure uh, right now, Mr. President. I, I, my, my, the, the impression that I got from Senator Go is that he is willing to let go of two bills that would require national government capital infusion. Am I correct in that aspect, sir? Correct, uh, Mr. President. And the, the remaining 13 measures would just require, would not require budget, budgetary infusions coming from the national government. Is, is that a correct? Uh, correct, but uh, some are uh, <laughs> uh, hospitals, uh, Mr. President, increasing the yes. capacity. Uh. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, Mr. President, it does. Because even the, because the increase in the bed capacity uh, and the capital outlay must come from the national government, not from the era. My, I, that's right. why I'm asking, uh, with respect, uh, minority, minority leader. That's the answer, so sir. You're asking the answer the, that's the answer. That's what the what the bills say. Capital outlay shall be for the account of the national government. The the, the impression I got, uh, Mr. President, is the bills of Senator Go are meant to address the shortfalls in funding in anticipation, likewise, of the windfall that would be coming from the Mandanas ruling in the years ahead. Although he mentioned a while ago that the executive department has yet to uh, lay the basis, although there, there are ongoing studies and discussions on how the pie would be distributed, redistributed amongst all the LGUs. So he, he, his, his bills, would now be laying the groundwork, Mr. President, in anticipation of the Mandana's ruling, and among others, Mr. President. So the, the shortfalls uh, are, are the shortfalls in funding, as as uh, gleaned from the bills filed by Senator Go, are are very apparent among fifth and sixth class LGUs. So there is now a need to maintain a high standard, health standards for for this poorer municipality. So he is he is pushing for the 13 bills. If I'm, am, I, am I correct in that? Co correct, uh, Mr. President. So, Mr. President, I think it can be reconciled. Uh, it can be reconciled. Uh, the, the issues raised by the minority leader, as well as the intention of the author, can, can be reconciled in a manner that would provide a, a higher standard for locally uh, locally funded LGU hospitals wanting more facilities and personnel, additional hires, uh, so to speak. Because uh, as as his honor would say, and I, and I quote, there is a health services devolution burnout. So I think if both gentlemen would agree. Uh, the measures being proposed by Senator Go would not be contrary to the, I, I, I hope I, I am correct in my interpretation, would not be contrary to the, uh, the, the questioning, the line of questioning propounded by the good minority leader. Uh, please do not interfere with my line of questioning. Uh, as, uh, you should I'm give not, some not, respect. I'm not, with all due respect. That's why I ask the permission 
of his honor if I would be allowed to interject. No, when you question my line of questioning, that is out of line. You should not accord me the appropriate respect na naiintindihan ko yung tanong ko. I, I mention uh, my impression uh, with all due respect. So, uh, yes. that's all, Mr. President. That's, that's, that's why, why I just want to clarify. That is why I am correcting your wrong impression. I admit, if I, I was uh, wrong in my impression, but uh, on the basis of my impression, that's what I got. That's why I made yep. the interjection. Nevertheless, the sponsor is willing to uh, uh, suspend or table the two uh, bills that uh, will probably cross the issues that is being uh, 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 brought out by the minority leader and even by <laughs> Senator Villar. So if that is the case, then we uh, ask the majority leader to proceed with what is not uh, controversial or debatable as far as the, uh, the bills are concerned or the Committee on Health uh, bills are concerned. Uh, nevertheless, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Mr. President, uh, Mr. President. Oh yeah, send to go. Go ahead. With, with all uh, due respect, uh, we are veering away from the bill uh, in consideration. Uh, I, I welcome the exchanges of uh, views on the Mandana's uh, ruling. Mandana's. Perhaps, perhaps uh, we can uh, discuss. See, <laughs> Dayan. See, see, go ahead. I, I welcome the passionate uh, exchanges on uh, uh, views on Mandana's ruling. Perhaps we can discuss this on another uh, forum. Interpreting laws is a judicial uh, function. Per perhaps uh, we can uh, focus on hospital deals at hand, which is badly needed, very badly needed right now, Mr. President. To the issue that was mentioned also, or to the fact that was mentioned by the good sponsor, he said that the um, SNT, or the ERA, will be uh, <laughs> $234 billion. Uh, Without the Mandana's ruling, how much will it be? A minute, suspension, Mr. President. Session suspended. Before the uh, Supreme Court uh, decision, uh, eight hundred forty-eight point uh, forty-four billion, the projected era in uh, twenty twenty-two. After the Supreme Court uh, decision, after the Mandana's ruling, it was uh, pegged at uh, one point zero eighty-three trillion. Uh, uh, an increase of uh, 234 billion point 39 now it will be uh, called the uh, nata national tax uh, all allotment well it, it is uh, so so would you would the sponsor agree that the mandana's decision really will limit the fiscal space of the national government uh, and will affect its uh, ability uh, to fund the strategic priorities. Yes, uh, Mr. President. Malaki pong kawalan so, yan sa ating national malaki government. Yan. Malaking kawalan sa pamahalaan. Malaking, yan. malaki. Uh, kaya yung mayor, Congressman, yeah. mayor na kayo. Kaya nga, that is why, because malaki ang impact sa ating national government, sa ating national projects, we should be careful uh, the policy of the Department of Budget uh, is to uh, let the devolved agencies or, or, or offices really function or uh, take over the devolved function. I am looking now at this national budget call for fiscal year 2022. Uh, this is an official publication of the uh, the, of the uh, 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 Department of Budget and Management, and here uh, there is a uh, uh, there on uh, uh, Annex One, one of the devolved one of the departments which are specified is the Department of Health, and uh, here uh, the uh, the uh, uh, budget.
involve health services, including hospital, which includes hospital and other tertiary health services. And then for, that's for the provinces, for municipalities, what will be devolved are health services, which include the implementation on, on, of programs and projects on primary health care, maternal and child care, communicable and non-communicable diseases control services, access to secondary and tertiary health services, purchase of uh, medicine, uh, medical supplies, equipment needed to carry out the services herein enumerated, rehabilitation programs for victims of drug abuse, nutrition services and family planning services, clinics, health centers, and other health facilities to carry out health services. So I'm reading this because it would appear that the, the measures that we are now debating on are not consistent with this position of the DBM. Yes, Mr. President, it will affect the national government funds. That is why uh, we already decided uh, to set aside the two uh, renationalization uh, bills until uh, such time that uh, the executive uh, branch will uh, be certain or uh, upon the issuance of the executive order uh, on uh, how would they uh, uh, implement the uh, Mandana's uh, ruling. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Mr. President, during the committee hearing conducted by your committee, uh, on the committee of the good sponsor, the Department of Health expressly made its position clear that this law, this uh, renationalization and the burden of additional expenses uh, for uh, local hospitals uh, uh, is that is contrary to the intent of the uh, devolution uh, of uh, mandated in the Mandana's ruling. Hello. In other words. Let me uh, uh, let me read uh, the uh, appropriate uh, committee uh, 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 committee uh, um, transcript uh, on on this. A representative of the Department of Budget and Management uh, uh, told the committee that uh, the establishment of hospitals through legislation will run counter to DBM's effort to mitigate the impact of the Mandana's ruling. Let me maybe, uh, let me quote for the record the testimony of Ms. Uh, Ms. Pilapin. Um, sabe, uh, may I know po, galing po sa my principal, na the proposed measures runs counter to the initiatives in mitigating the impact of the SC ruling in the Mandana's case. So even the even the uh, DBM has expressed very serious reservations about additional burden to the national government for health services. And this is reflected in the records of the committee hearing and in, in the uh, memora in the uh, 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 and the budget call uh, of, of the DBM. My position is that these bills run counter to the policy of DBM. Mr. President, uh, after the uh, November 25, uh, October uh, hearing, they uh, submitted a position paper to the committee on November 25, 2020, uh, in view of the uh, foregoing, we interpose no objection to the proposed legislative measures subject to the above mentioned uh, inputs and the comments and recommendations of the DOH, which is in a better position to assess the viability of uh, increasing the bed capacity of the subject hospitals and establishing the health uh, facilities, uh, Mr. President. Yes. Uh, uh, we are saying that uh, that the previous statement of the DBM 
is erroneous or that they were lying? That's their official uh, position, uh, Mr. President. Well, when they appeared before the Senate, that was also an official position. They, they clarified with their uh, recommendation, uh, Mr. President. They submitted uh, a position paper to the committee after the hearing, Mr. President. Yes. Uh, I, to be candid with you, Mr. President, uh, I would rather rely on the, uh, on the uh, position um, um, by the DBM, uh, which position is uh, was uh, uh, given uh, <coughs> without doubt, without without any things of uh, pressure, Mr. President. Since uh, we cannot uh, fully deliberate on this uh, two uh, renationalization bills, uh, considering that I that I previously uh, mentioned uh, on missing uh, data information. Maybe we can just uh, uh, proceed uh, with the uh, other 13 uh, hospitals on the agenda today, uh, Mr. President. Yes. Yeah, but, uh, yes, uh, but uh, we can proceed with that. But the general principle of burdening the national government with services which are already devolved, remain the same. For example, for example, just as an example, uh, an act establishing a general hospital in Barangay Lacaron, municipality of Balita, province of Davao, to be known as Davao Occidental General Hospital, and appropriating funds, therefore, uh, this is still uh, putting the burden on the national government, the uh, the uh, uh, health services, which are devolved. So it is not only on those two that you mentioned, but even on the other bills under consideration, the national government is being tasked to appropriate funds for a devolved service. A minute uh, suspension, Mr. President. Um, yeah, before that, uh, perhaps you can look into the uh, the other the other ones who are simply just adding adding uh, additional beds. Uh, check check on that. Anyway, yes, uh, session suspended. Mr. President, about the uh, the three uh, uh, host new hospitals, uh, Mr. President. Uh, why not the LGU establish their own uh, hospitals? That are the uh, uh, the questions. Alam niyo po kung kaya lang po ng LGU na magtayo ng hospital eh, noon pasana nilang itinayo yan. Ita po tataas ang uh, ira uh, next year or nata. Hindi po rin natin hawak ang uh, priority ng LGU. For example, the three hospitals uh, I'm referring to, Mr. President. The Eastern Pangasinan Regional Medical and Trauma Center. Me meron pong uh, regional hospital dyan po sa Dagupan City. But uh, malaki po ang Pangasinan. People uh, residing in Eastern Pangasinan have to travel long hours to receive emergency medical services and trauma interventions. This is a regional hospital which is not under any uh, province, Mr. President. Itong uh, Eastern uh, Pangasinan, pwede pong pumunta rito yung mga taga La Union, pwede rin pong pumunta rito yung mga taga Tarlac, e napakalaki po ng mga taga Nueva Biscaya, Nueva uh, Ecija, and uh, Eastern Pangasinan. E hindi naman po siguro ito masasagot ng, mga, ng uh, probinsya po ng uh, Pangasinan kasi it, it will cater nga po to all uh, uh, nearby uh, provinces. Eh, Pilipino rin po ang uh, uh, kinikater nito mga hospital na ito. And also Dabo Occidental General uh, Hospital, Mr. President. Residents from the province of Dabo Occidental, napakal ako, taga Dabo region po ako, with uh, advanced medical conditions will have to travel 
uh, approximately around uh, 201 kilometers to receive emergency health uh, services. 41% of the barangays in Dabo Occidental are classified as uh, geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas, meaning they are isolated po talaga due to distance. Ang pinakamalapit po na hospital dyan, yung Southern Philippines, which is in Davao, napaka uh, layo po. And another, uh, the Senate President, uh, Neptali Gonzalez General uh, Hospital, uh, the, the primary uh, clients of this hospital is in inpatients and outpatients of uh, NCMH uh, DOH Hospital, who in addition to their uh, mental condition have medical and surgical uh, needs. Ang nandyan po ngayon sa Mandalu yung ito po yung uh, uh, mental uh, hospital, uh, Mr. President. It, ma malaking tulong po ito, uh, General Hospital na ito, yung Senate President Neptali General Hospital. Makatulong po ito sa mga residente po ng Mandalu yung San Juan and even na uh, Makati, uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, you know, I guess we are talking on different planes. We are talking about policy issue here and implement and uh, 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 as as uh, enunciated in the local government code, and that is the devolution of health services. That was a policy issue debated upon extensively. Mind you, sir, I am not against expanding our hospitals. It should be expanded. Our health system is one of the weakest uh, as shown by the uh, pandemic uh, experience that we have for the past year and a half. What I am raising is who should fund this? Under the policy today, today, it should be funded by the local government. M Mr. President. Yeah. Okay, can I finish? You are saying that you are not against the established can I finish, Mr. Hospital, Mr. President. Mr. President. Uh, can I finish? Uh, yeah, allow, allow the minority leader to finish and then... Ah, we'll sorry, go sorry Mr. President. It was a uh, uh, chapter. Go ahead, go ahead. The, uh, the, uh, the policy that was decided when Congress enacted the local government code is that health services will be devolved. And, and that policy has been there. Now, uh, what we are doing in these bills is change that policy. I am, as I said, I am not against, uh, I am not against uh, expand, uh, helping these hospitals. If we want to change the policy, we can and remove the health services as a devolved as a devolved service so that there is uniformity. We will not be pressured by 300 or so local hospitals to be uh, renationalized uh, because then uh, the policy is ready to renationalize them. Today, we are playing God. We're saying that uh, uh, only certain uh, uh, health facilities will be brought back to the national government, uh, where a certain health facilities should be uh, supported by the local government. Mind you, sir, we are, I am not against providing for health services. I am just trying to get our Congress to come up with a definite policy for a better governance. Hindi po, hindi po sa uh, ayaw ko nito. Kung hindi, you know, we are here to see to it that the policies are implemented. If we feel that the present policy of devolution is not, uh, is not um, consistent with our national interest, let us change it. Let us bring back health to the national government. And then we will have no problem on this. We do not have to debate on these 300 or so local hospitals constantly requesting 
for uh, for funding. Uh, and here, uh, the Supreme Court has increased the funding to 234 billion pesos. And here we are saying the national government should give some more. Uh, <laughs> Let's 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 make clear that you know all right, we are already as the the gold sponsor admitted the, the Mandana's ruling already uh, limited the uh, fiscal space of the national government. We are making it worse by uh, passing on to the national government capital outlay expenses which are of services, which are already devolved. That is the point that I am raising now. And that is the principle is applicable to every, every uh, bill that is presented on local expansion of beds, etc. Because a common provision to all these local bills is that capital equipment uh, will be for the, for the, uh, who is? account of the national government and in the case of the, the two mentioned uh, we will even revert the whole hospital to the national government of course it's uh, uh, the uh, the this is a uh, a, a uh, legitimate desire of the lgu to unburden themselves of this expense but as I said, uh, we have set the policy in the local government code, uh, and therefore uh, we must change that policy if we want to. I am willing to do, to review that. So with that, Mr. President, can I ask for one minute suspension so that we can uh, hold the Session uh, suspended. Thank you. Yes, um, the, on the floor was the sponsor. Of uh, the bill, uh, a local bill, Senator Bongo, and um, you were asking for the floor af after that uh, manifestation by Senator Dillon, the minority leader, who is uh, continuing his interpolation. Mr. President, uh, you po, uh, po hanap tayo ng hanap ng. Uh, Pondo from Bayanihan 1 to Bayanihan uh, 2. Now they're proposing Bayanihan 3. And obviously, our priorities are uh, pong, uh, health uh, problem. Po natin. And in fact, naghahanap po ng Pondo ang executive to add the uh, modular hospitals. Gawa tayo rito ng gawa, 45 days, para po hindi bumagsak yung healthcare system natin. Tapos, uh, kita nyo, kahit saan na lang po yung mga kababayan natin naghihingalo, humingi ng tulong. Ang ayaw natin mangyari, maghihingalo po yung mga kababayan natin na wala na pong uh, papuntahan. Nasa pandemia po tayo, Mr. President. Iba po ang kaso natin ngayon. Darating naman po siguro yung panahon na pwedeng pag-usapan natin yung pagdidibatihan natin yung share ng ira, ng nata. Pero ito, habulan po tayo ng buhay po ng bawat uh, Pilipino na nakataya dito, Mr. President. And um, and na po yung andiyan na po yung mga hospitals na approved. Uh, sorry. Si uh, kindly mute lang po. Uh, andiyan na po yung uh, bills na aprobado na po ng lower house. Eh, nasa kamay na po natin dito sa Senado. Bakit pa natin na uh, papatagalin pa Mr. President? Kawawa naman yung Pilipino. Ibang usapan po ito ngayon. Nasa pandemya po tayo, bawat araw na merong namamatay, buhay rin po yun ng Pilipino. So, apparently, Mr. President, sad to say, meron pong ibang 
sorry to tell you, you're pretending that you are not against, but really you are against. In this crucial time, we need these facilities, we need these uh, upgrades. The local government uh, units are asking for assistance because they cannot take on these uh, burdens. Paikot-ikot lang po usapan dito, Mr. President. Di naman po siguro, alam naman po ng Pilipino yan, paikot-ikot lang tayo dito. Sinasadya lang po nating patagalin. I ibang usapan po ito ngayon, Mr. President. Dapat po tayo magkaisa dito sa kapakanan po ng uh, Pilipino. Pinasa na po ito ng lower house. Hanap tayo ng modular hospital. Ito po, pwede na tayong gumawa ng hospital. Papasado na po sa lower house. Tatlong hospital. Senate President pa naman po. Neptali Gonzales Hospital. Bakit pa natin patagalin? Eastern Pangasinan Hospital. Napakalayo po ng dagupan. Kawawa po yung mga nasa Nueva Ecija. Eh, si sino po bang LGUs who is willing to take the cudgels right now? Nasasaloin po nila itong budget na ito. Eh tayo po dito sa national, eh tayo po yung mambabatas na mag po ng, ng budget nito. Bakit pa natin ipagkakait, uh, Mr. President? Wawa po yung Pilipino. Mr. President, huwag na po natin ipagkait sa Pilipino kung ano pong para sa kanila ngayon. Wawa po. Ako mismo, bumababa po ako. Alam ko po yung sitwasyon. Mr. President, may I move that the interpolation for these measures be terminated? Botohan na lang po natin, Mr. President. Uh, Objection. Minority Leader is recognized. Yes, uh, we object to the motion to terminate the period of interpolation. One of the traditions of the Senate since time immemorial is that the closure is never invoked in this in, in the debates uh never never and uh, the senate president can confirm that uh being uh, having been in the senate the longest uh there are legitimate issues that we raise uh and this is principally involving the mandana's ruling and its effect on the fiscal ability of this government to respond to its needs. I am certain that the uh, that uh, many in the cabinet itself is concerned about this. Uh, so I, and I take exception to the attribution of motive on my part, attribution of, of, of motive of malice, the uses of the phrase, bakit pa natin pinapatagal ito? <laughs> Uh, implies that I am doing it simply for uh, to, to prolong it. If the good sponsor can answer the questions uh, in a more precise term without asking for uh, um, uh, for uh, suspension, huh? eh, baka tayo. But I resent and I take strong exception to the statement na pinapatagal ko ito. Uh, pinapatagal natin ito, implying that there is no other reason for the questions that we raise except the desire to, to delay it. Totally uncalled for, and I hope that is not done, that is not repeated. That the lower house has passed this, yes, of course they have passed, but precisely there's our system of check and balance. We are a bicameral uh, legislature, and therefore we check on each other. Uh, we believe that the uh, uh, that the uh, action taken by the House is contrary uh, to to the uh, settled principles of devolution. I am, uh, and therefore I am raising these questions. As we said, if we want to review it and review the devolution of health services, let us do so. But uh, but as long as we have this policy, then we just have to adhere to it. So it is in this sense that I regret. With all due respect to the good sponsor, we are not delaying this. We are trying to come up with a policy that is acceptable, that is consistent with the national interest. And therefore, we regret that we cannot, uh, that we have to object to the motion to terminate the interpretation because the tradition of the Senate 
never allowed uh, termination, uh, they never allowed the invocation of cloture. The most famous in this uh, history of the Senate is Senator Rosilier Lim, who delivered, uh, who, who utilized this tradition in order to, 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 to deliver a speech that lasted for several days. So, Mr. President, uh, I, I, I regret that uh, we cannot agree to the closure of the debate. Mr. President, uh, let, let me repeat, uh, nasa pandemia po tayo ngayon at uh, ayaw na po natin patagalin pa ito. First time din naman po ito nangyari sa atin. We already passed uh, 11 uh, laws uh, this uh, Congress. Uh, bakit pa natin po itong gawing issue? There is, there is indeed a, a need to review the policy. But for now, we need to fill in the gaps, lalo na ngayong nasa pandemya po tayo. Ngayon pa ba natin ipagkakait sa ating mga kababayan ng health services na pwede naman nating uh, ibigay na po sa, sa ngayon? Diyan na po yung mga hospital. Isang po naman po is a local... Uh, Hospitals funded by local government units, you sample yung lima. And another uh, five is uh, upgrading po ng mga hospital. Well, kulang po talaga yung mga hospital uh, beds, uh, Mr. President. Yung, uh, I'm willing to set aside po dong set dalawang renationalization until such time po na nakapagpresenta na po ang ating uh, uh, Department of Budget and uh, uh, management uh, Mr. President sa, sa, sa ngayon po unahin po muna natin yung mga hospitals na may facilities na kailangang i-upgrade at willing naman po ang LGU na pondohan po nakikiusap na po ako sa inyo Mr. President kawawa po talaga ng kapwa natin Pilipino uh, I'm willing to just uh, what I have said I'm willing to set set aside the uh, the two uh, renationalization uh, bills uh, and even to set aside the three bills establishing new new hospitals. Sa ngayon po ay unahin na lang po natin yung mga hospitals na may facilities na kailangan i-upgrade and willing naman po ang LGUs na na pondohan. And we can uh, continue uh, tackling uh, the, the other uh, uh, five bills kung, uh, kung hindi pa po tayo tapos dito sa interpolation na uh, Mr. President. So what you're saying is that uh, if we are going to continue interpolation of the five bills because of the implication that is being brought out by the minority, the minority leader and the other members of the House, there is no problem. You're not uh, ready to terminate the interpolation. But uh, for the 10, uh, you are uh, asking to take up the 10 without any of this um, uh, national implications, especially on the funding. That's what you're saying. Uh, correct, uh, Mr. President. If the uh, minority leader would allow us, Mr. President. Yes. Yeah, so uh, may we hear from the minority leader on that uh, uh, on that uh, uh, idea or request? We can continue oh, 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 oh. on the five. But if we can go and uh, take up the 10 already so that uh, it is out of our table already. Okay, so does that mean that the, that the, uh, uh, how many are there? Four, 15, Puba? 15? Um, 15. 15. We can lay on the table uh, the five. Uh, the, with the, the national implications. Mr. President. Uh, no, no. There are uh, ten. Uh, there are five LGUs uh, hospital uh, increasing the bed capacity of uh, these uh, hospitals or lying in clinic, uh, Mr. President, and uh, uh, about five uh, uh, hospitals of uh, from DOH increasing the bed uh, capacity. Ito lang po sana mauna mo na, Mr. President. Ito mga upgrading of uh, bed capacity. At uh, pwede naman natin munang ipagpatuloy yung uh, interpolation nitong renationalization since ako rin po mismo ay uh, I have to uh, uh, consult also the executive and how uh, will they uh, implement the uh, 
uh, Mandana's uh, ruling uh, since uh, the executive order is still uh, being uh, drafted for the full devolution of some uh, government uh, functions, uh, Mr. President. So what, uh, the, what does the minority leader say? For clarity, can the good sponsor enumerate those bills which we will lay on the table and which bills we will continue to deliberate on, just for clarity? Uh, the, number one, uh, you know, uh, yeah. I will uh, read it to you, Mr. Yes. President. The five LGU hospitals, the House Bill 2582, increasing the bed capacity of the lying-in clinic in Rizal, Palawan. It will be funded by the uh, LGUs, Mr. President. Number two, House Bill 6498, increasing the bed capacity of Nagilian District Hospital in La Union. It will be also funded by the uh, uh, local government, Mr. President. House Bill 6729, increasing the bed capacity of Rosario District Hospital in Rosario, La Union. It will be funded by the uh, local government unit. Uh, increase, and number four, House Bill 6727, increasing the bed capacity of Sinai District Hospital in Sinai, Ilocos Sur. Number five, House Bill 6731, establishing the Bacolod City General uh, Hospital. Meron uh, uh, LG rin po ito and uh, the majority uh, leader leader knows about it, uh, Mr. President. And uh, next is the... Uh, DOH uh, run yes. hospital, these are only uh, uh, increasing the bed capacity uh, of uh, East Avenue Medical Center, House Bill 6728, number 7, 6730, increasing the bed capacity of Mayor Hilarion Ramiro Medical Center in Misamis uh, Occidental with IRR. I think uh, ito mga hospital na po ito, nandiyan na po ito, uh, nakatayo na po ito. Uh, number eight, House Bill 6971, converting the Sistosomiasis Control and Research Hospital in Palo into the Governor Benjamin uh, Romualdez General Hospital and increasing its uh, bed capacity, Mr. President. Number nine, House Bill 6972, rena renaming the Eastern Visayas Regional Medical Center in Tacloban into Eastern Visayas Medical Center and increasing its uh, bed capacity. Number 10, House Bill 6753, converting the Medina Extension Hospital in Medina, Misamis Oriental, into a general uh, hospital, uh, Mr. President. Ito po yung sampung priority bills sana, Mr. President, na pwede naman po natin uh, ipasasana ngayon. Now, walang implikasyon doon sa the issue na nire-raise na, eh, ng minority leader. Is that, uh, that's what you're saying? Correct, uh, Mr. President. At uh, sabi ko nga po, itong dalawa naman pong renationalization of the two hospitals, we can just consider these measures when we are certain of the direction na po ng executive uh, department on how will they implement the uh, uh, Mandana's uh, uh, ruling. And another so, three, Mr. President... Your request is uh, that, uh, if uh, possible, the interpolation may continue on to the five later on. Correct, uh, correct, Mr. President, dahil bago po itong mga hospital na ito, itong renationalization, ito po yung ipapasa na po from uh, uh, local government units to DOH since hindi na po kaya ng uh, Lanao del Norte Regional Medical Center, napondohan po sila ng LGU ng Lanao del Norte. And also po yung itong uh, uh, sa Benguet po, since hindi na rin po kaya alone ng Benguet LGU dahil po sa kukulangan na po siguro ng uh, pondo and of course na-explain ko na po kanina eh, nagkikater po ito ng mga pasyente na not limited only to Benguet residents but uh, also to, uh, to nearby uh, provinces po such as uh, uh, Mountain Province uh, 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 Apayao so ito po, pwede mo nang i-forgo muna ito sa ngayon. And another three po, uh, Mr. President, itong uh, bagong mga hospital, uh, uh, House Bill 6850, establishing the Eastern Pangasinan Regional Medical and Trauma Center. Number 14, ito pong 7321, establishing the Dabao Occidental General Hospital. 
Number 15, House Bill 5870, uh, establishing the Neptali Gonzalez Hospital. Willing po muna ako i-forgo ito, yung interpolation, patuloy natin. Pero bagamat uh, uh, pinaglalaban ko po ito, kanina po, uh, Mr. President, dahil sabi ko nga po, nandito na po yung bill. Pwede na natin ipasa yung mga hospital. Eh, since gumagawa nga tayo ng mga modular hospital ngayon, nagmahabulan po tayo dahil ayaw natin umabot nga po sa 100% uh, capacity ang ating mga hospital. Dahil iba po ang sitwasyon ngayon, uh, Mr. President. Kaya po ako'y nakikiusap na lang po sa ating uh, sa lahat ng mga kasamahan ko rito sa Senado. Uh, sana po'y uh, tulong, including the uh, uh, Senate uh, Minority Leader, sir. Baka pwede na lang pong tulungan na lang po natin itong mga bagong uh, hospital po dahil gagawa, gagawa tayo ng mga bagong modular hospital, gawa tayo ng mga tents dito. Ito, andyan na po yung pondo na lang po ang uh, kulang at pasa na lang po natin. But I'm willing to continue to be interpolated uh, on on this uh, five uh, uh, hospital uh, bills, uh, Mr. President. Which we can probably do another day. So perhaps we can qualify your motion ano, instead of a withdrawal. You are... Our, uh, your, your motion, if if we will accept to we will accept to take it up. You know, is that uh, if we could end the interpolations on the ten measures that on the, our uh, on the agenda that are not that do not have any national implications and are not uh, uh, do, do not fall in the issues being raised by the minority leader. That is uh, your point. Yes, uh, Mr. President. All right. The majority leader, the minority leader, what uh, what do we say to the... Uh, well, uh, to just the, to add, Mr. President, uh, just to add, Firstly, I believe these 10 have no also, they were, during the hearings, uh, there were no, uh, did the uh, DPM did not interpose any objections, I believe, on these 10. Mr. President. I believe so. All right, Mr. minority President, leader, yes. Senator Dillon. Firstly, Mr. President, I want to put on record that... Uh, 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 bakit pinapatagal pa natin ito? Mr. President, these bills have been pending in the Senate for since last year. Uh, uh, and uh, the hearings were conducted in October of last year, more than six months ago. <clears throat> if uh, there was really an urgency, it should have been reported out earlier. But uh, I'm just responding to the allegations that pinapatagal ko ito. Uh, but having said that, Mr. President, I am not clear. Uh, okay, so we, first, uh, can I clarify, can, can, I, can we spread it on the record? Which uh, bills uh, uh, are, which bills are being suspended in terms of the deliberation? Which bills uh, uh, will uh, be suspended? Yung, 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 which bill? Uh, Let's Mr. Say. President, yung ano po, yung dalawang uh, re-nationalization na uh, bills, uh, kung hindi pa po tapos yung interpolation, uh, I'm very much willing to be uh, interpolated pa po uh, in the future. And also, kung, kung okay na po sa inyo itong tatlo, yung bagong hospital, papasalamat po ako sa inyo kung papay. Kaya ini-explain ko po paulit-ulit na gumagawa nga tayo ng mga modular hospital. Ito, hindi dito na po yung ready to ano ito, funding okay, na po uh, at papasa yeah. natin kung okay po sa inyo. But if not, if we are not yet done, willing po ako i-forgo uh, muna and uh, willing to be interpolated pa po in the, in the future. But, but, but just to so that uh, we, we can state our uh, record uh, correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, can we go one by one? How yeah, slow me, allow me to, to uh, yeah, allow me to, to do to do it, you know, and so that we can clarify the the motion yes. that uh, has been uh, uh, posed. Um, we can end interp uh, the the sponsor would like to end interpolations on the following house bills: two five eight two. Two six four two six four nine eight six seven two nine six seven two seven six seven two eight six seven three zero six nine seven one 
6972 6973 6973 and 6731 all right the interpretations for let me continue the interpolations for 7322 6849 6850 7321 and and 5870 may continue. You know, um, perhaps later after we take up some of the other matters or perhaps on Monday. But the interpolation may continue. The 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 the, the, um, the request to end interpolations is because these um, these other bills do not have really a direct um, problem with the issues that were raised by the members of the of the Senate, especially the minority leader. So I, that's the situation. Okay. Can I have a one minute suspension to review right. my notes, uh, Mr. President? Thank you. S so suspension suspended. Yes, the minority leader, yes, uh, you're recognized. Yes, we, we confirm generally what the good Senate President mentioned, but there is just one refinement. In order not to break our rule on, on, on non-invocation of the closure rule, in those, uh, in, in those bills where questions uh, are raised, but which the uh, good sponsor is willing to uh, uh, table first before uh, putting it to, to a decision, I suggest that those bills, I, I do not know what they are, uh, if there are questions on uh, the violation of the devolution rule, we table it so that the debate on that is suspended. Now, uh, you, you, the other bills, uh, which would have no implication on the use, on the devolution of the health uh, services, uh, we can, we can, uh, I, I, we can terminate. We can uh, I, uh, let us resume debate on that. We can uh, terminate uh, the uh, debate on Tuesday. Insofar as those uh, uh, bills, where uh, there is no, uh, uh, in, there is in which does not involve uh, a violation of the Mandana's principle. We are not opposed to this, Mr. President. We want, we want, we we are in favor of this hospitals. Ang ayo ko lang po, we will again burden the national government, which is already hard up on funds, with uh, with uh, funding requirements that can otherwise be absorbed by the local government. Because if the local government will say we can answer for all the expenses, go ahead. I have no problems. We have no problems. If the if the if we place in all the bills that the uh, funding shall be sourced from the era, absolutely no problem, sir. We can establish as many hospitals as we want. We can increase as many beds as we want, uh, if it is uh, funded by the original government. Because I am in the opposition, but I am concerned about the finances of this government. pera, collection. Ahead at mayroon ng desisyon ng Mandanas. At sinasabi ng, ng DBM, eh, let us uh, fully implement devolution. And here we are as a policy-making body deciding otherwise. So I will repeat, uh, sir. Uh, let us, uh, let us uh, uh, as I said, uh, those where uh, we can agree, uh, we will, uh, uh, we will uh, uh, not uh, vote on and continue the deliberation until we settle the policy issue, we will table that and not take it up. Huh? And those where we can resolve the issue of the Dallas ruling, we can, we can, I have no problems uh, 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 terminating the, uh, the interpretation, but let us uh, allow ourselves one working day I was uh, I was willing to do it on Monday, but the good uh, the good press, Senate president said, "Can we have it on Tuesday?" Because Senator Bong is not available on Monday. Fine on Tuesday. On Tuesday, do you have that commitment, Mr. President? All right, uh, Senator Bong. Um... Uh, Mr. President, uh, regardless, I will just stick to my uh, uh, position that uh, 
we really uh, badly need, need uh, this uh, hospital uh, bills. Uh, lalo na po, we are in the uh, middle of this uh, uh, pandemic and uh, paulit-ulit ko po i-explain sa inyo na gumagawa nga tayo ng mga, ng mga temporary hospitals uh, ngayon and even uh, hurrying up uh, the uh, uh, examinations of uh, medical workers na para po makapag-examine, makapatulong na po sila. Siguro po ay ipaglalaban ko pa rin po yung uh, sampo at saka yung tatlo na new hospitals dahil hindi po talaga kaya ng, uh, for example, uh, Pangasinan. Hindi po talaga kaya nila uh, sarili nilang hospital. And then pupunta rin po doon yung mga taga Tarlac, taga La Union, taga Nueva Ecija na uh, Biscaya. It would be unfair uh, on the part of the local government of uh, Pangasinan. Kung sila po ang sasalo nito, uh, yun lang po sa akin, Mr. President. I agree with the uh, two uh, 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 renationalization uh, hospitals. Pwede muna nating i-forgo yun until such time that uh, the Executive uh, Department and uh, Secretary Abisado and Secretary Dominguez would come up with their, uh, uh, how would they, they implement the di uh, mandanas sa uh, ruling. Okay lang po ako. Pwede po natang pagpaliban yon. But the 10, the 5 LGU hospitals, the 5 uh, uh, DOH upgrading po. Kasi ito, andyan dyan na po yung batas eh. Andyan dyan na po yung batas upgrading, adding hospitals. Ngayon po, naghahanap tayo ng pondo kahit sang savings po ng executive department to 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 construct uh, temporary hospitals eh itong temporary hospitals later on pag wala na po ang pandemic sisirain na po ito di sayang yung pera pera rin po ng gobyerno yan pera rin po yun ng national uh, government uh, Mr. President tapos matatapon lang eh, para sa atin ngayon talagang uh, habulan po time is of the essence po at buhay po ng bawat Pilipino na nakataya dito and I will uh, stick with my position regarding the new uh, uh, three new hospitals po na talagang kailangan. And I'm sure that the local govern the three local government units would not take the cudgels for for the <laughs> the uh, operations of the hospital. Wala po silang uh, pera to operate the, this uh, hospital sa Pangasinan. Yung Senate Senate President uh, Neptali Gonzalez at saka itong sa Davao Occidental. Hindi po nila kakayanin na sila po magano. Siguro kung titingnan mo po yung kanilang proposed budget, though hindi naman po one year lang yan, it will be a, a, it has a plan, a long term plan naman po yan. Pero hindi po ka, maybe yung budget nila sa, sa hospital yon kalahati ng kanilang national budget na po yun. Hindi talaga kakayanin. At uh, ito na po yung panahon na ang uh, national government po ang uh, uh, sumalo dito. But I'm very much uh, willing to uh, listen to the uh, uh, good uh, Senate uh, Minority Floor Leader. Kung meron pa po kayong mga suggestions and uh, sa interpolation niyo po dito sa, ta sa tatlong uh, hospitals. Uh, anyway, Mr. President, I'm... Yun na nga. Yun na nga. So, um... <coughs> um we we are not asking uh, Senator uh, go to withdraw his motion, but uh, we are trying to find a middle ground uh, uh, so that we do not uh, we find that we are we, we will be able we will be able to break the impasse and um, not confront it tonight, you know, because there are also some of our colleagues who want to be clarified to be. Uh, to learn more about uh, the intricacies and the problems that will will come, uh, it will uh, um, face the executive department later on in two or three of the of the or two or five of the measures. No, so the middle ground is that uh, your uh, uh, your motion is pending, uh, but um, the request is that. Uh, 
or the suggestion of the of the majority the majority leader and myself is that we vote on this on Tuesday. Uh, that will give us uh, enough time. The others, uh, the, what does the majority leader say? Actually, I agree, Mr. President. That was the initial uh, um, appeal to my appeal to Senator Bong. Uh, just like what we did yesterday with Senator, actually two days ago with Senator Manny Pacquiao with his boxing commission. So we appealed to him because he was planning to terminate also his uh, uh, interpolation. And we appealed to him that Senator Pia Caetano still has questions on the measure and that we can, if we can, if he is, uh, you know, if it's all right for him to continue the debate on Monday, he graciously accepted. So my appeal to our colleague is, uh, Yes, let's give it, if we can't make it on Monday, maybe on Tuesday we can uh, continue with the debate. And maybe by Tuesday we can make a decision, but at least we give a chance to Senator Drillon and the others, Senator Pia, who also want to ask questions or clarifications about uh, this particular issue. So that is also my appeal, because uh, it will be difficult, Mr. President, to vote on the issue of closing the period of interpolation, because uh, you're absolutely correct. Uh, although it has happened, and I've seen it happen a few times uh, with debates, uh, for, for example, with Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago, Senator Trillanes, wherein they refuse to uh, be interpolated uh, for whatever reason it is. But it's not the practice in the Senate. So um, and so I appeal to our colleague, uh, if can be anyway, if we approve it on Tuesday, uh, three days after, which is uh, Monday the following week, we can approve it on third reading. These measures, mahabul pa for adoption ng house. Hindi po tayo, hindi po maantala itong mga bills na ito. I want to vote for these bills because uh, I have commitments to all these bills. So, uh, wala naman akong problema dyan. But let's give our colleagues time to be able to study and, of course, be able to debate uh, and and uh, uh, discuss you know, what are the best remedies, particularly on the situation that we have with the Mandanas ruling, Mr. President. So, I'm appealing to my dear colleague um, so that we don't have to put this on a vote today. Baka pwede po natin matake up muli uh, Tuesday. Actually, Monday, kung no, we can... po siya, even if he's online. We can do it, uh, even online, no matter where he is. And then uh, we can approve it Monday. And then on Tuesday, we can uh, approve it on third reading on Thursday. Because we have sessions on Thursday next week, Mr. President. Yes, uh, well, the, the proposal is that we vote on this uh, on uh, Tuesday, except for the the very controversial ones you know, that uh, we have agreed on. And by the way, that will give us time also to finally clarify which is which. Eh, kanina, mm -hmm. nag-uusap kami sa telepono ni Senator Drillon at saka ni Senator Go. Pare-pareho kami, nalilito kami kung alin yung, yung number na bill na, na pwede na tindi. So, that'll give us enough time to that. Anyway, the solution here, the parliamentary solution right now is so that... Uh, we do not touch anything, and the situation is uh, um, uh, still uh, on deck. Is that for the majority leader to move for a motion to table? Because it has a higher precedence over a motion to terminate interpolation. So, <clears throat> Senator Pia Caetano, you are recognized. Yes, just for uh, the record. Um, from what I recall, uh, Senator, our, our Majority Floor Leader mentioned um, um, President uh, like when uh, Senator Miriam uh, would not be interpolated. But from my recollection, she always agreed to be interpolated, was very gracious in her interpolate, in uh, accepting interpolation on bills. It would just be privileged speeches. I think there was one or two privileged speeches that were very personal to her and she was very emotional about it that she didn't want to be interpolated but on bills um i remember iba siya kung tingin niyo sa kanya matapang pagdating sa interpolation ang patient niya ang bait niya bigay siya ng bigay ng information she really had this aura of being a teacher i just wanted to put that on record kasi i think uh, we are all, we should all be guided by you know it uh, uh, yes let me correct myself to, to that no wait uh, uh, Mr. President, um, wait majority leader 
Allow me to add to what Senator Pia Caetano is saying. Yes, yes um, there were that, there were a number of times that me, Senator Miriam Santiago delivers a privilege speech, and beforehand she says that she doesn't want to be interpolated. Okay, in the bills she is she she allows interpolation. All right, and uh, very gracious about it, except for one time, one or oh, I'm not sure if, if it was more than one that we were debating on the RH bill. And uh, there are two reasons why. First, she was not feeling well. Second, the issue was the masterpiece of Senator Pia Caetano. So she, she, she gave way, uh, she relinquished the sponsorship to Senator Pia Caetano. So that was the time that uh, she didn't want to be interpolated and allowed Senator Pia to take over. Uh, it did, did happen, but there were reasons for it. Yeah, uh, so just for the Rick, I want to correct the the possible misinterpretation. When I meant not be interpolated, that was for privileged speeches. Yes, mm -hmm. particularly mm -hmm. there were a few members of the Senate then that she didn't really like. So whenever they would ask to interpolate, uh, she refused to answer them. Yes, Mr. President, that's true. But that's really the prerogative of each and every individual. I mean, uh, if there is an individual who wishes to not be interpolated, he may uh, terminate his interpolations, but it is the call of the body if we will agree to do so or not. Because obviously the one interpolating will object and the vote will have to be put uh, on the floor, which well, we try to avoid because mm -hmm. we'd like to encourage all our colleagues to really actively participate in the discussions of the bill. We enter the halls that should be, we should enter the halls prepared. Perhaps the, the you know, it's studied, Mr. President. Right. And I'm not talking right. about any one particular, that should be for all of us, for all of us, Mr. President. Yes, yes, but uh, just uh, also a uh, uh, point, uh, trivia, a uh, point of trivia, um, and Senator Villon will recall, I'm sure. The old boys during our time, um, Felt very disappointed if they are not interpolated. <laughs> if you recall, uh, ayon na ayon nila, nag-speech sila, talabas mag wala mag-interpolate, parang bali wala yung speech nila. Nagagalit. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, so, uh, Majority Leader, what do you say? Uh, well, Mr. President, uh, to resolve the issue, and I think there's a consensus with everyone, uh, I think, Mr. President, uh, no one is objecting. If we can table the said uh, motion, uh, if the good sponsors willing to do it on Monday uh, online, uh, I don't think there will be an objection to tackle it online, Mr. President, or should he want it Tuesday if uh, we discuss and vote on it on Tuesday? Does he want it on Monday? Mr. President, uh, can it be possible on Tuesday, uh, Mr. President? Okay. Tuesday. The, yeah, thank you, Mr. President. The reason why I just oh. uh, pointed out on Monday so that I can pass it on third reading on Thursday, because we have a three day constitutional rule. Uh, so if Tuesday, po, okay, lang din po, walang problema. So we can. Not any problema because Monday we can, we can third, third reading on Monday. Thank you, po, Mr. President. So that is. Uh, my appeal, and I presume it will be a, a formal motion now that we table the the uh, agenda uh, being discussed today for Tuesday. So move. All right. Any objection? Hearing none. The motion to lay on the table, both the um, the motion of uh, Senator Go and the uh, consideration of the measures being reported out by the Committee on Health is hereby adopted.